Welcome back YouTube and thanks for tuning in. Today we have an in-depth exploration of the monstrous symbiote that has sent shivers down the spines of heroes and villains alike. Join us as we unveil the secrets, the origins, and the sheer power of the Venom symbiote. Prepare to delve into the darkness as we dissect the history, the lore, and the unrelenting presence of the one and only Venom. Let's get into it. <laughs> As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps build the channel. Venom, one of Spider-Man's most iconic and complex adversaries, has a rich and intricate origin story. Created by writer David Michelin and artist Todd McFarlane and Mike Zeck, Venom first appeared in The Amazing Spider-Man number 300 in 1988. His origins begin on the alien world of Battleworld during the Secret Wars crossover event. Spider-Man, along with various other superheroes and villains, is transported to this distant planet. During his time there, he acquires a sleek, black costume that enhances his powers. This alien costume is later revealed to be a living organism, a symbiote that bonds with its host. After returning to Earth, Spider-Man discovers the dark side of the black costume. It begins to exert control over his actions and emotions, forcing him to act aggressively and violently. Peter Parker eventually separates himself from the symbiote using loud sounds and intense heat, leading it to seek out a new host. The symbiote finds a new host in Eddie Brock, a disgraced journalist. Brock's hatred for Spider-Man is rooted in the fact that he's blamed him for his career's downfall. The symbiote bonds with Brock and they become Venom, a formidable adversary with Spider-Man's powers and a personal vendetta against the wall crawler. The new persona embodies the combined rage and resentment of both host and symbiote. Venom's primary goal is to exact revenge on Spider-Man. In the 1993 miniseries Venom, Lethal Protector, Venom and Spider-Man strike a deal where Venom agrees to stop his criminal activities in New York and become a lethal protector in San Francisco, aligning himself more as an anti-hero. Venom's role as an anti-hero has led to various comic storylines where he battles evil and even joins superhero teams like the Thunderbolts and the Guardians of the Galaxy. Before delving into the review and unboxing, I think it's important to signify just how large of a box this piece actually is. It dwarves my office chair and could not fit into my vehicle in this shipping box. Thankfully, beneath the shipper was a layer of thick foam all around, so it shrunk it a good few inches. Due to the size of this box, I actually had to utilize a dolly. I couldn't grip it properly to carry it down the stairs and didn't want to risk damaging it. Here I am just struggling to get it around the corner and move it. Upon opening it, we have the first layer with way more pieces than I was expecting. And here they are fully unwrapped. First out of the box is this enormous tongue, extremely large and superbly detailed. The colors and shading are spot on and the clear translucent resin really give it a slippery and shiny aesthetic mimicking saliva. The peg is felt tipped as well to prevent damage. A nice little touch was the nameplate, very thick and heavy as well as elegant. In conjunction with the Certificate of Authenticity, it adds a level of sophistication to this piece. I really enjoyed it. Here, we have the multiple tendrils which adorn the bust, highly textured with skin applications, vein work, and subtle shading throughout. All of them are very similar in appearance, so I'll just highlight the first one. Revealing layer number two of the big guy himself, all one piece. And here he is fully unwrapped. Again, just to further accentuate the sheer size of this piece, here I am holding it up next to me. It's just massive. Not as heavy as I was expecting from the box, but still very substantial. As usual, here's the unboxing and a video showcasing the fully assembled piece. Note how perfectly the pieces fit together and flawlessly assembly went. The instructions included were very detailed and easy to follow.
just a little close-up video of the skin texture and shading highlights to showcase it. Here, we have a close-up video of the mouth and surrounding area. Note particularly the jawline, especially where it meets the skin. This came extremely damaged on the vast majority of these pieces. In fact, I somehow lucked out and got one that was flawless. It could have to do with mine was made in a much, much later batch. This is one of the last ones produced according to the COA, and I had to wait over a year to get it. So perhaps they fixed the issue. Thankfully, I received it. Another quick little shot showcasing the fact that this is completely flawless, no damage whatsoever. Here, we have the big man in his final resting spot amongst the Spider-Man display. Really suits it well and love the sideshow art print showcased behind him. I hope you've enjoyed this journey through the darkness, getting to know the enigmatic creature known as Venom. But remember, the story doesn't end here. The symbiote's legacy continues to evolve in the ever-expanding Marvel Universe. Until next time, remember, we are Venom.